What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I've been trying to tell you guys that many athletes are silly, okay? Really silly in standards, they don't have them. Rappers, they don't have them. And, you know, pretty much what these guys are always willing to do is to trade their ability, physical, or skill level for some booty. I mean, you know, like I said, many of us have done it as men, but nobody does it better than professional athletes. And if you think about it, these guys are um, usually muscular, usually tall, usually rich in their prime, and they're the biggest simps out there in the world. Okay? Like, despite having all the money, uh, some of them looks, height, all of that goes down the drain. These guys are pathetic. How do we know this? Because IG models keep exposing that. All right? Now, let me tell you about this one IG model by the name of Destiny. Nothing too special about her. That's her right there. Okay? Don't really have a whole lot in the front. Not even a whole lot really in the back. She's okay looking. Nice looking lady. So she has babies already. Listen to this. Josh Jacobs. Led the league in NFL rushing last year. Geno Smith. Pro Bowl quarterback for the Seahawks. Player of the year. Now, Eli Apple, who was on the Bengals, now on the Giants. Three kids, three different baby daddies, three different positions. You cannot make this stuff up. All right? That is just how pathetic some of our black athletes are. All right? Now, here's the issue. Of course, she's having an issue with the third baby daddy. He don't even really want to be with her like that. All right? So what is she doing? She's exposing him on Instagram. Of course, these guys never learn. They're dumb, right? But let me just kind of read this over here. All right? She says this. He should tread lightly. Okay? Because what does your mom, how does your mom run a DV foundation but her son's a POS. So let's go over what happened. Now, this is a chick that has two kids by two other guys, but you know, Eli Apple is a piece of, you know what, right? No, 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 listen to this. We got pregnant after traveling together during off season, can't even spell, it's during. His response to my pregnant was straight up, well, what did you expect? I knew it was gonna happen. Then he tells me he has a sex problem and I'm the sixth pregnant woman in three years the others just had abortions, but I'm already 14 weeks at the time of this confession. Stop the show. <laughs> hey, what did you think? I mean, you already have two kids by two different guys already in the NFL. Do you know condoms? Have you used condoms before? Have you heard of birth control? Listen to this. Fast forward to mid-pregnancy, my son has a heart condition and needs a cord blood transfusion and I'm not a direct match and Eli is. Doctor set up the appointment for him to give three milliliters of blood and this man refuses because I found out he was smashing a different woman in every city he went to raw. Okay, stop the show right there. <laughs> okay, but you already have two kids by two different guys because you love raw sex. So now you're mad at this guy because he's having sex with, with stuff raw. But you also are the same chick having sex raw. Did you expect that he would treat you any different? Okay. Did you expect that that somebody cared about you? Okay, let's let's continue. This is this is this is pathetic. So he blocks me because I sent him the article of this girl exposing him and then he unblocks me to pick out baby names okay listen listen to this and ask to come spend the rest of the all season in co once i tell him our son needs a transplant because he couldn't give blood he blocks me okay <laughs> okay after he told me it was best for the baby to die I went crazy on him and his mama because your girl is a piece of ish. 
So I have my son at 25 weeks at one pound, 12 ounces. My son had two surgeries since, and this man has continued to talk about the bad health he wishes on his own child. Okay. Now, let's look at this. LMAO, let me not get started on the things this man said to me while pregnant with the child he asked me to have. You make me feel so worthless if it would be better if me and the baby died. I don't know what you want me to say when you send me all this. Okay, now this is her. If you play against my baby dad this season, please go after his knees, maybe a hammy. Oh, okay. So you guys heard all that, right? Let me just tell you this. All right. I mean, I know black men can't get enough of this. This is crazy. Number one. And we have to go through this almost every time. We do understand that there are black men out here who are pretty much awful. Okay. We understand it. We admit these guys are in our community. The problem is, is that you don't want to understand that in order to deal with terrible people, you probably have to be a terrible person yourself. So the apple doesn't fall far from the tree this is what we also know okay and because we know this you're upset because birds of a feather will lock to get number one you already have two kids by two different guys why didn't any of them marry you the reason why they didn't marry you is because you're not worth anybody marrying probably you're out here also selecting these athletes, making sure you don't wear condoms yourself. Now you want somebody to hurt his legs. What if somebody were to say, hold on, let me not say that, but Lord, hurt, let me, let me, let me, let me think. What if somebody says, you know what? I wish somebody would um, give her some birth control so she can't have any more kids out of wedlock. How would you how would you feel you want this guy to be hurt when you told this guy to deal with you literally told him you literally okay decided to sleep with this guy now you're mad because he's a piece of s but but hey you you know how athletes are I'm not saying all of them are you know that you're not somebody to take serious and you don't want to be with anybody serious. You want these guys. You get what you get. Now you're upset. I just want to know why. Why are you upset? And again, how many times do we have to always hear this? Like why? At what point do you are you going to actually take accountability? All right. Why don't you take accountability? You chose this guy. There's so many women like her on the internet crying about black men. Every baby daddy is different that you that you have as a kid. All of them you selected as a kid or as a man to deal with. All of them. You have them. You dealt with them. You decided to be with them. But you are pissed off. I just can't get it. I just don't get it. I, I, I just can't. I just can't. And these are the women out here talking about they're going to not settle for less. I was going to say three kids by three different things. I won't settle for less. You're, you're pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again. Another episode of The Subway Drunk. Appreciate you for all you do. Scrape the bell. We're out.